Hi, it's me, Vamp, and welcome back to the channel. What you're about to hear is a snippet from a podcast episode I did with the Zach. We talked a bit about void shells and the potential future of void shells. And yeah, just hit the snippet from the whole episode. If you do want to check out the whole episode itself, then feel free to check the link in the description below or search V for Vamp wherever you listen to your podcast. So yeah, without further ado, here is the snippet. What do you think about Void Shells? I was so excited when we announced them. And um, that was a hard secret to keep, I think, because it was something early on that we were discussing and that we were oh, we're thinking of doing it. And I'm I'm pretty sure a handful of people had mentioned the idea in like the Discord or on Twitter, and I was like, well, I guess just hold on because they're coming soon. <laughs> I love them. I've only I've only really fooled around with the uh, the operator drifter void shells, the one you get oh, okay. after the quest, and I you can spend some time <laughs> yeah, going through them and yeah. find perfect now, for sure. How I understand it personally, see. Um, you may not know this about me, but I actually, from time to time, do work in, like, I've worked in 3DS Max Blender. So, nice. to me, the void shells are essentially a material editor. It, yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's that's where my mind goes, is, like, Blender, like, material swaps or something. Yeah. 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 <laughs> So that's it's cool. pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Now, you've probably tested, play tested them more than I have, though. <laughs> yes. Um, I think that with the current, I am excited to get them on more frames. I think I'm going to try and get, like, my favorite frames. Like, I want one for Neja. I want one for Zephyr so bad. Oh, so yeah. I'm definitely ex excited to see more in the future, I'm so happy they came out for the, I imagine, for the that we have. I imagine a few like will come out with like every update, maybe. Hopefully. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. probably another thing that we can think about, kind of just like how Deluxe's uh, yeah. act as well. Yeah. Like, it's kind of like, you know, new weapons, new this. So we'll see with, with, with future content that well, I can't be, say much. But... <laughs> because I know it uses a new system. So mm -hmm. that's why. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, it can't easily just be backlogged to everything because yes, it uses I, a new system I, I, that much. I knew I know, it was but, mentioned. Yeah. On, it was mentioned on the dev stream how how so it's surprising how much work it takes to get these on because I know the people are like, oh, release them on all the skins and and that would be so good. But you would think it would just be easy to swap out the materials and let people change them. But I remember it would go back and forth for just the three that we had for, for months. Um, so hopefully I think that now that we've kind of figured out all the little details, it will become a bit easier. But yeah, I know that's a popular piece of feedback. Put I'm, them on everything and it's, <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I'll be honest. I was originally one of the people like, oh, it's just a material editor. Why can't yeah. it be put on everything? But then I realized that more like a in-game material editor, um, generator or emulator if you will mm -hmm. so it, yeah you know have to emulate a material editor it's not a literal material editor so exactly yeah and it's it's building on you know eight nine years of of code and character models so oh, I, yeah, don't, yeah. I don't envy the work that had to go into it i'm happy that we can just celebrate it that it's here and we could work it but yeah and that yeah. far as i know warframe runs on its own engine so it does, you know, yeah yeah nothing yeah. like unreal engine or unity or anything like that 